All right, so I've got the important parts. I've got the head, I've got the, the collarbone, the shoulders, the rib cage. I have a good sense of where that spine is leading to a pelvis, but I have kind of this softly erased back leg I'm not fully committed to, and I don't have any tail element. So the next thing for me is to, to find those resources and now I have to be a little bit choosier with the references I use because I need them to fit with this spine and this anatomy. So the idea I had for my sketch for the tail was the armadillo, armadillo, how do you say it? Armadillo lizard, which has this amazing tail. And it kind of curls up. But I need it at the right angle. And so I've limited the Google image search. Pixabay didn't have enough to only large images. And I think I can work with this one. So let me open it in a new tab so you guys can see it in the video. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. There we go. Pinterest is... Pinterest is great, but it makes uh, image sourcing very difficult sometimes. You have to kind of click through it and eventually get to the image. And then this is not high enough quality on Instagram. Because I like Instagram, but Instagram is actually a really good platform for you to use to share your work online because it really protects its resolution. <laughs> So there's no way I can steal that from Instagram, but I could do a screen grab, but that's not big enough, right? So it's one of the annoyances of Google is that sometimes you're not actually able to get the image that it promises. But I'm gonna to try to save it to downloads. And because it's just the tail, let's see if that's big enough. There's a stock photo, but then it has like little watermarks on it, right? And yes, I do know enough about digital art to be able to get rid of those watermarks and not have to pay for the photo, but you want to be really careful using stock photo images that you steal because their whole business model is selling image rights, right? Which our question of the day will be about. And so you want to make sure that they don't see any of their work in your work. So when I'm on Google, I'm very aware that I have to fully make this transformable because I don't own these copyrights. And this is a digital painting and it's cool, but it's not gonna match my photo reference. So you can see why I like Pixabay whenever possible. All right, so let's see what, what I got from the download. I think this is the best option I have. It's going to drag and drop it in. And that will be just barely big enough if I flip it. Right? But maybe I get creative and use the body as more of the tail. I think that's probably what I'll do. So I just want to get those last components in here before I lose you for today in a few minutes. So this will be a short video. And then the other download, you have to see where you have deficits in your design, right? So I have a great claw there. But it might be fun to have some other hand reference, right? Maybe for that back foot, maybe for that front. So I'm going to steal this. It's from a caiman lizard, the same kind that I got my, my jaw from. So now that I've got them in there, I kind of know how I can customize and work, yeah, that'll be good for the back back foot. I know how I'll piece them together next class. So the goal is before next class, before Monday, you want to work with your image, get it pieced together, like all the rough pieces kind of put together on the assembly line floor. And then next class, we'll work on all the finishing off.
So for my lizard, I just need to cut out what I think could be useful for the tail. And what I love about this project is I didn't know anything about the armadillo lizard before this. And it's pretty cool. But also, I can look at like plants. I can look at pine cones. I can look at, at different, uh, different types of textures to use with my creature as well, now that I know exactly what I'm looking for, because I've got so much of it rendered together. Okay, that will do it for today's class. And I will hang out in the Zoom meeting until, you know, for another 10 minutes or so for any questions. But I'm going to stop the, the YouTube video now, and then I'll put these YouTube videos up as quickly as I can.